PlayStation 5 firmware 9.0 is now finally available to everyone worldwide, but there's only a few changes this time around, and without direct comparisons, you might not realize what has changed, so let's go over everything in this new update. The controller speakers can now produce higher volume sound, allowing you to hear in-game sounds or voice chat more clearly. Let's put that to the test. Save the last humans. Keepers detected. 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 Now let's test the voice chat loudness where right now I'm downstairs on another console using the Pulse Elite, that way it at least sounds clear. Uh, but the controller speaker on the other end, that is on a console using version 8.60, so in theory the ceiling on the volume should be lower than 9.0. And here is version 9.0, so this console on the receiving end is on the new firmware, which means the controller speaker should be louder on average, and we're again keeping it as controlled as possible, where I'm using the Pulse Elite on the console sending the voice chat, so it should sound fairly clear, but in terms of loudness, 9.0 should be louder than 8.60. The mic input quality on the controller has been improved also, courtesy of what Sony says is a new AI machine learning model that can detect and suppress background noises from button presses and game audio, resulting in a better voice chat experience. Let's test that as well. So right now we're just capturing some Spider-Man 2 gameplay, and I'm sourcing all the uh, capture and audio directly from the PS5, so you're hearing the, uh, the audio quality from the DualSense microphone, and now what we're going to do in a very unscientific way is just fire off a bunch of combos, mashing the controller, I've got the haptics and the triggers on as well, and we'll see just how well this will suppress background noise where this console is on 8.60 so in theory the next clip that you'll see is the one on 9.0 where that does a better job at trying to remove all the unnecessary button mashing noise when you're playing games on psn if you do use the dual sense microphone uh, when playing games and again we'll just do the same test here on version 9.0 where we will start furiously attacking absolutely nobody Peter looking insane, but we want to get a lot of nutty button presses in while using the controller mic just to get an idea of how much better this is doing, trying to suppress the background noise from the furious button tapping combos and having the haptics and the triggers turned on as well. thought I saw a crate somewhere. Now I've lost it in the madness here, but hopefully this sounds better. During a share screen session, viewers that are watching in full screen mode can now use a cursor and place emoji reactions on screen as a way to interact with the host's gameplay. You can send a ping, draw a line on the screen, or send reaction emojis. This feature is turned on by default, but can be turned off by the host in the share screen settings. You can now adjust the brightness of the PS5 power indicator in settings, system, beep and light, and power indicator. The shutdown animation for the console has been updated as well.